Optimize Factory powered by Oracle. Um, when we talk about the different solutions that, that we can provide, and the visibility from a, an operations and, and an OT perspective, that has to come together somehow, right? So the capabilities and the technology capabilities that are being provided by Oracle today allow us to be able to say, we are going to come in and help you optimize the capabilities of your factory, right? Optimize factory. And optimize the capabilities of your factory. Well, we have to do it somehow. And due to the innovative capabilities of the tool sets, we can say, here's the solution set, business processes, improvements, KPI measures, et cetera, and then enable those utilizing then all the tool sets that, that we bring to bear, whether it's planning and budgeting, whether it's BI for reporting, if it's uh, platform as a service, and then on the SaaS side, then all the technology. So when we say Optimize Factory powered by Oracle, it is we are going to come in, we are going to look at your organization, we will be able to then optimize the capabilities within your factory and utilize the innovative technologies to be able to, to support the, the improvements. Example of which is a, a solution that we've built that works in oil and gas and in water and et cetera, that takes in IoT information from variable sensors. And that information is then ported back to a dashboard built on, on PaaS uh, and connected to the order management solution, the procurement solution, and the transportation solution um, in the cloud. So we can look at where are we in terms of volume of liquid in a tank. Utilizing the sensor, if a volume drips, dips to a particular level, then we can automate then what happens after that. It automates the planning, it automates the order, it automates the purchase order, and it automates the transportation move. So that's an example of in what we call Optimized Factory, because Optimized Factory is not just a manufacturing piece, it's what happens within the entire factory. So whether that's from measuring um, heat on a pump, whether it's uh, measuring viscosity of a liquid in a particular tank through IoT and through all the other platforms, then now we can enable solutions that we can take to the market space that take into account all the pieces that are now the sort of next gen of technology and applications uh, for client base. I personally used to run two parts of a business before I got into consulting. Um, I ran manufacturing and then I also ran inventory and logistics. When I look at what we can bring to bear from an optimized factory perspective back to when I ran those two departments, the opportunities are not limitless, but the opportunities are clearly there. So from an operations perspective, I would absolutely love to know how I'm performing on throughput of a line, where the possibilities for breakdown are. So if I know and I can look and I can see that based on trends of movement through the line that I may see a breakdown in this particular segment, and I can look at that and I can see it eight hours, even four hours, even sometimes two hours in advance of a shutdown, that would, that's huge, that would be huge for me. So when I look at it from just a pure operations manufacturing perspective, that's a fantastic view of what we can bring. If I look at the transportation side of it, when I used to run inventory and, and transportation, if I can get direct information on the movements of product from inside to outside and understand where I may see bottlenecks, then that again provides me the opportunity to be able to proactively versus reactive. If anybody's lived in, in the operation space and you've lived that life, you know how much of your life used to be spent on reactive. This allows me to now be proactive.